In the last video, you heard about the importance of using realistic dialogue in your stories. Well, one unrealistic way I hear people using it is in the language they use. They speak in much more formal tones than they would in a conversation. For example, I was working with a client a couple years ago who was talking about a cliff diving incident where he and his son dove off a cliff into the ocean. And he talked about, as I stood by the edge of the cliff and looked down, I thought, I do not think this is a good idea. And I was very concerned about my health. I asked him, I said, do you really speak that way? Isn't it more likely that you said, I stepped over to the edge of the cliff, I looked down and I thought, I'm not doing this. This is not a good idea. It doesn't look safe. That's probably what he thought because that is a very highly uh, emotional, tense moment. We don't speak in the Queen's English when we're under stress, do we? Try, again, we've heard this in other videos. Look at the written version of your stories and ask, is this how I speak? Especially in highly emotional situations. Language and the tone of your dialogue make it much more realistic and people will buy into your stories at a much deeper level. Talk with you in our next tip.